Matt, for the second time in a week, we've come from behind to take three points. Uh, imagine you're really pleased with that result. Um, look, it was a hard one to take to be behind in that game. Um, with no disrespect to Mansfield, they didn't threaten our goal on a regular basis. They didn't have a shot in anger, really. Cam's not had too much to do. So that was just a poor moment in relation to set piece. Always going to be a, a danger in that game. We just needed a goal to, to match the performance in the first half, uh, which we thought we deserved. Um, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, so we just had to rejig and change it slightly and went more aggressive with uh, personnel on the pitch and towards that last half an hour of the game and it, it paid dividends. I think obviously we went behind that, out of nothing really, but a bit like uh, on Tuesday, we reacted really well. Yeah, we, look, I'll say when we want to be a top, top team, that, that free kick doesn't happen. It's a goalkeeper's kick. We just got to head the first ball and then not give away a, a soft free kick in around that area and then defend the set piece better. And that's, that's where you need real leadership and real sort of physical attributes as well as your brain working um, because we didn't deserve to be behind. But you find yourself behind in a game of football and then you've got to chase a game. So I, I was just really pleased that when we chased it, we did it in a sensible manner and we worked the ball and worked the ball. And, and I thought Podge's introduction gave us extra energy at the top end of the pitch and his experience came to the fore in terms of putting the ball where we needed it to be. Obviously, with Mansfield goals, Pierce Sweeney was off the pitch as well. So I imagine that had a. a well, I'll speak to Pierce gig. privately, but unless you've got a broken leg as a centre half, you've got to stay on the pitch. Um, Tim Diang, I think we're really seeing the best of him in an Exeter City shirt, aren't we? Once again, a fantastic signing. Yeah, he's got licence to, 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 to get in the box, get in the box late, because um, there's no one better, probably, in our squad attacking the ball in the air. Um, as long as he gets his timing right and you know he attacked the first ball which then bounced down to Podge and he's just in the right position at the right time so that was just the way we were towards the end where we had extra bodies at the top end of the pitch and like I said we've got to find different ways to win games of football um, I actually felt we played pretty well for the first hour of that game and then you, you, you feel you're 1-0 down and it's it's not unjustified because that's football but then you, the reaction off the back of that probably showed the strength of where the squad is at the moment and then MJ I never knew he was so reliable oh, with his man, head honestly <laughs> I said at half time about Aurora going at the back post just someone going to score a tapping or a header at the back post and but we, we took MJ out of the, the central area um, just to free him out up from the bodies and we still felt he could cut in from that left position on his right and, and create maybe a cross or a shot off the back of it. I didn't have him down as a, a man for a back post header but but that's what we said to him um, and he did it he headed it down um, really good interchange down this right hand side Archie Collins breaking forward so that, that's what that was the feel about that that, that performance today um, I was really pleased that's that's probably our best performance of the season and it sounds strange to say because we've we scored more goals and we've been more convincing but in terms of a whole team performance that, that was okay. I think Paul Jarman was certainly a, a real impact as well just a bit again a bit like on Tuesday he came on and he stretched that defence and, and the pinpoint cross well, was as, as part of my team talk before the game was he was the brightest on the sideline for our first goal our equalising goal on Tuesday getting the ball back in play and, and that is Podge I, I would have loved to work with him five ten years ago because he's got a fantastic attitude to being bright and being alive and that sounds uh, an incredible statement because he's still got his legs, um, but it's just his brightness in his game and his, his understanding of where the ball was going to land for that last half an hour was, was excellent. And he created that first goal, played a bit of a part in, in the second goal as well. And, you know, we're only as strong as our bench, only as strong, as strong as the squad as well. So to be able to make those changes and affect the game in that manner is, a, is really pleasing. I think Mansfield probably perhaps dealt with Sam Nombe quite well today, but then right at the end, two chances, he could have done much more. Really, could nah, he? he squared the ball. <laughs> I know all centre forwards want to score, but in that moment we could have just killed the game off. Um, I actually felt Sam's game, energy-wise, wasn't quite at its top today, but that's the first time he's played three games in a week in his whole career. Um, and the expectation, he's understanding, he's got to be a marked man this season, so he's up against two physical players. Uh, like, let's be honest, if, if the first half had panned out differently in terms of taking one of those chances or putting the ball in the back of the net, the opposition would have had to change sooner. Um, but they were really well connected, but then we managed to find gaps towards the end. And it was great to see Giovanni back on after a short layoff as well. Yeah, a lot of important player for us. I can't underestimate that fact. A really important player for us. But, you know, I said it when we drew here against Newport about a war and, and Colin trying to find the rhythm. I thought Colin found his rhythm in his game. And we almost had to get through that, that first game against Newport the previous week to get to get him right for where he was today and we were much more affected down that le left side um, for the majority of the game and you know he, he's going to be our best left back and that's no disrespect to Jake Caprice or anyone else who can play in that position when, when his legs get going like they did and he found his second win to the, in that second half he gives us an extra added outlet on the opposite side as opposed to just always through Josh Key's legs so really pleased with Colin today. Obviously we had the three games this week uh, and you mentioned earlier in the week as well about tired bodies how important is this? You probably see that now? at times yeah probably see that and maybe for both teams as well um, but we, we, not for the lack of effort they, they give absolutely everything it's you know credit to that group they give absolutely everything today I'm, I'm really pleased because that was that's how we need to win games of football at home you know it might not end up 2-2 three, 3-3 two, three, three, but a bit more pragmatic in terms of our approach and, and earning the space on the pitch um, we nullified their threat all day long and they've got some outstanding players at this level so really pleased in relation to that um, but we go to two 
big long northern trips in the next couple of weeks with a little bit more confidence. I've not looked at the league table, but I know we're in and around it. Um, let's be honest, this time last week, everyone's talking about too many draws, but we're not too far away.